as a result of doing it. Can I get an amen tonight? Amen. amen. Number two, the text says, not only are we supposed to provide food, but the text goes on to say, provide lodging for those that are in need. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, we practice the principle of fasting when we care for those who have been cast out. But those who have been forced out of their homes who are suffering injustice, we are not to make it difficult to shelter them. Amen. We are to help those in need find a place to, to, to stay, to not simply say, I'm praying for you, but, but to help them look for an answer, to be the answer for the prayer. I ain't going to get no help in here. I'm just going to read my notes. And when, if at all possible, even pay for their lodging. Right. Mm -hmm. And to push it out just a little bit further, to even invite them into our own homes as our guests, not as a renter. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, Lord. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sit, sit there. I'm in the Bible. Take your attitude up with him. Come on. Come on. In Luke, if the Old Testament doesn't work for you, Luke chapter 10. Uh, there's a story uh, that we hear about a good Samaritan, a good Samaritan, a man who, who though he was a Gentile and out of covenant relationship with God, proved by his actions that he had an even greater relationship with God than those who said they knew God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Those who had theological or theoretical faith, he had a greater sense of relationship than they did. See, because after finding a man, if you know anything about the parable, this, the text basically says this. After finding the man beat up by robbers, this Samaritan bandaged up his wounds, uh, put him on his own donkey, cared for him, put him up in the inn, and paid for it while he was recovering. That's right. Uh-huh. I, I, don't, I don't know where Monica and I would be with our kids if it wasn't for my mother-in-law. Amen. Amen. See, when they sold the house we were planning on buying out from under us. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law took us in like that. Mm -hmm. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We had just come home from a worship service mm -hmm. to find an eviction notice on our door. Mm -hmm. God said, how, how big is your family? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would have been different if I was still running the streets. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Or if this had happened before I got saved. But I just came off from the pool pit. Mm. Mm. Sometimes God allows you to get stuck. Amen. Amen. In order that you might be able to see how to start. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, the principle of fasting is not about what you withhold, but what are you willing to give? When there are people who are in need, how do you respond? Come on. Come on. Oh. Amen, Pastor. What do you do? Don't tell me who you are. Mm -hmm. Show me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is the kind of fast that God loves. Let me get off of that and move to the third one. Number three, mm -hmm. provide clothing for those in need. Right there in the text. Thank you. Isaiah 58, 7. The text says, when you see the naked clothing. See, we are called not just to shelter those who are in need, but to provide for those that they may appear decently. Amen. 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 Thank see, you, this, this, to, to modernize this, you're not going to find too many sane folk running down the street naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and since we don't see them running down the street naked, we just overlook this one. But here's what it means. If there's somebody who is going through life indecently, mm -hmm. we have an obligation in practicing our fast of supplying them what they need to be decent. Amen. How many people are inadequately prepared for where they're going? And we know it. Mm -hmm. See, oftentimes it's easy for us to give our excess but the principle should be to practice uh, what we're giving by sowing with purpose. Mm -hmm. See, because nobody wants a handout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody 
wants a hand out, but everyone at some point can use a hand up. Amen. Amen. This is not about us clearing out our closets to make room for more. But sowing a seed into someone's life that they might achieve more. Yes, yes. If somebody says, you know what, I'm going for this job interview. Mm -hmm. Ask them, how prepared are you? And then pray and see if you've got something that will help aid them as they go to advance. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Last one, I'm not leaving. <laughs> Don't hide from your relatives. So, so, let, let's, let's recount so I can give you a chance to breathe. Feed the hungry, provide lodging, put some clothes out for people who are in need, and then the Lord said, Help me, Lord. Don't hide from your kinfolk. Verse 7, I'm in the Bible. Am I in Isaiah 15? 58 verse 7, it says, and do not turn away from your own flesh and blood. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes the most difficult thing to do is to help those who we are closest to. And, and I don't have a great philosophical or even pastorly aid to help with this, so I'm just going to give you Bible. I'm just going to give you scripture. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8 says this but if anyone does not provide for his relatives and especially for the members of his household 